Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is the final layout for the scra holiday scrapping videos. Please check out the description box below for the channels that are joining us this day. So, this being the last layout I make for the holiday scrapping series, I wanted to use up the paper scraps that I made along the way. Um, I thought about, I had seen, I think it was um, Nick, Nikki Rowland um, make a layout with like paper shards, if you will. And I wanted to mimic that, but it, no, it just didn't work out. Um, see, it, I don't know. I don't even know what was going on in my brain. Um, but I decided to include this because it's all part of the scrapping process. Um, but after I got it out, out of my mind that, you know, this just wasn't going to work. See, there are, there's the thumbs down that's like, no, this isn't going to work. Um, I get out and use the paper scraps and make a layered layout. Um, I'm using that star paper as my base using this big chunk of paper um, on it. And again, I'm just layering pieces of patterned paper from the Hey Santa, um, hey Santa Christmas collection by Crepe Paper. And yep, it plays out. It plays out. Um, I do use a tag and this is the first layout that I think I had, didn't use a doily on. But it's okay. So I took everything off and then I start distressing all the edges of the patterned paper just to play all around with, you know, with the textures and to also make the edges more noticeable. I decided to use this frame around my picture, um, at least to highlight that part of the picture where my son is, you can still get a glimpse of the Christmas lights towards the right hand side, but I wanted the focus to be on my son. So that's why I placed that frame there. And then I was like, okay, what embellishments am I going to use for this layout? Moreover, moreover what title am I going to use? So again, playing around with different figures, I came up with the title Merry and Sweet. Because my son is definitely sweet and he was definitely so happy to be playing around um, in my parents' backyard, especially during Christmas time. So he was definitely happy. So that's the title. Mary and Sweet, and I'm using three different thickers to write it out. And, yep, see? And since the collection has some pink, I was able to get away with using these pink thickers. Um, and it just plays out. And by adding the word sweet, I was able to use the candy chipboard pieces from the collection. Since I have a lot of paper layers going on, I go ahead and um, just keep the embellishments at a minimum. I add that text, that text, add that ephemera piece beneath the picture. And that's where I'm going to be adding in my journaling. Beneath that, I do add another ephemera piece. And then on top of Mary, I add a couple of the tags as well, just to continue playing around with the layering in this, um, in this layout. Um, I try to use, you know, that penguin die cut, but it was just too big for the layout. So I might use it at, in another layout. And I think I'm almost done. Um, I thought about using 
um, the charms, I just end up using one of the bigger ones to um, balance out the embellishments that are on the left hand side. I grab Green Goddess and splatter it all around my layout and I call this layout done. Here are the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me on this holiday scrapping series along with Virginia Walker and Audrey Yeager. I hope you were able to get inspired and get your holiday stories documented. Um, I hope you stick around for the other process videos that should be coming up on my channel in the next couple of days. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care.